And if you're one of those millions of people that are driving those cars around that they don't know whether it's safe or not, what do you do with it? Ralphie, what do you do? Uh, which, which one? The, the Toyota. The, the Prius or yeah, the Yeah, you're or still the driving one that doesn't stop. Well, that's, that's the one with the brakes. And if you don't use your brakes, it's not a problem. I, I, I can tell you for a, for a certainty. It's, it's okay. Uh, there, there are congressional, actually, there are three congressional hearings going on right now on the Toyota recall problems. And, and uh, the fear that's being expressed by witnesses testifying before Congress is not that there's some mechanical defect that can be easily fixed, but that there's some electronic misfire going on and that could be a lot more complicated a lot more extensive and a lot more uh, unpredictable than the other well, types didn't of the problems. grandchild of toyota testify today toyota's grandkid who is now the chairman it's also of the thing. mr toyota with a d and and i wonder if he thought he could get out of uh, the liability and the horrible things they put us into by bowing deeply this time and and sighing uh, i don't think that's it, the it, it it looks to me like they've covered up uh, all kinds of things in terms of what's been going on. Uh, and I think Henry Waxman put it uh, rightfully so when he uh, uh, talked about what was going on. Uh, who pays for the losses if you just bought a new Toyota or you just leased a new Toyota? It's unsafe to drive it. So You're still you making, you, you, nobody will buy it back from you. Uh, in other words, I had a Toyota. I had a Toyota that had 2,300 miles on it. My kid was driving it. I wasn't going to let him drive it. So I started driving it. So And he didn't want to let you drive it. And then my family didn't want me to drive it. I got a hold of Toyota to turn it back in. I had 2,300 miles on the lease about three or four months. They said, yeah, we'll take it back, but you got to give us $9,000. So, I call so they buy the car back from you, but you pay them. Yeah. This is one of my, That's a good deal. My great investment Next time deals. I go looking for a new car, I'm going to see if they can pay me. Now, I, I call a non-Toyota place. I take it to CarMax, which I don't have any... It's not a sponsor, have nothing, no relationship to it at all. And they say uh, it, substantially less I had to pay them. So, so and CarMax is going to turn around and sell it. Somebody's going to buy it. I don't know. What maybe not today. I don't know what they're going to do but, with it. But, but, but maybe after uh, problems are and, fixed. And fortunately, there's a lot of class actions on there. I hope that eventually they get to trial or get settled and punish the heck out of these people who have uh, been putting products out there that have killed uh, maimed and injured lots of people, and they don't really s seem to stand behind it. They keep doing fixes that they know don't solve the problem, and they think that they can pat us on the back because we're stupid Americans uh, and go for it. Um, that's the end of my speech. I feel horrible. That's, yeah. And it is a lemon. They are lemons. You can just see all the yellow coming down. Squeeze them, baby. Squeeze them. Let's get some uh, legislation. Well, what, is so, what does somebody do? What if somebody calls us now? What, what, what well, do we tell them? I've got a car. I'm afraid to drive it. I can't afford to turn it back. You don't what do drive do? it. You can sue them in small claims court. I can't court. drive that car. I need to get around. You this can, is Los Angeles. You can sue them in small claims court each time your payment's due. Uh, you can tie them up in court. They can be millions of small claims court suits. Uh, or you can join in one of these class actions. So Which you've got a 200 to a 300 to a $400 monthly payment for your lease right. or your finance charges. Right. Uh, and you take that amount and you go on a monthly basis to small claims court where you become really, really good friends with the judge. Or, or, uh, or not. Um, right. Or you stay around and you get involved in one of these class actions and ultimately... There's almost 20 of those going on. Isn't all that, over the country. Right? Yeah. And they'll get consolidated and eventually uh, the Toyota will either go bankrupt or, or end up paying a lot of money. I suspect they'll pay a but lot of money. Miserable. This is the largest car manufacturer in the, in the world right it's, now, isn't yeah, it, right? it was, it, and, and the thing that got me is that during the time that they knew that the car wasn't operating properly, we still had the, the Bonanza where you could turn in your clunkers. Oh, yeah. And you could buy Toyotas and, with That's it. right. That's what people bought. So, they bought Toyotas. So what a joke. Boy, we got, we got, that's too bad. We got it in the ear. So yeah. I, I feel better. Oh, you this feel is like now? therapy every week. This is my anti-Toyota therapy. Well, you also but, feel better because you don't have a Toyota anymore. I don't. I, I sold the Toyota to CarMax. I paid them. I bought high and I sold low. But at least I got a chance to live. Well, I wish you great success with that. I want you to be healthy. It's important to me. I tell you. Are you ready for this? Speaking of cra absolutely crazy things. You, know, you folks, if you really disagree with me uh, and, and, and think I'm totally blown off the wall, uh, or you think that you should support Toyota in any way, I dare any Toyota uh, executives to call in and go on the air.
because I know the audience would love to talk to him about that. Well, I'm actually more interested in, in someone calling and, and giving us a specific problem, specific issue relative to their purchase of a Toyota, to their lease of a Toyota, uh, to find out what, what, given their individual circumstances, what they can do to minimize their monthly loss, because it is a loss. If you if you're afraid to drive the car, and I and and I don't fault you for that under these circumstances. Well, on the other, I, I'd be interested in hearing that. I guess in a capitalist situation, you go out and you could buy a zillion Toyotas now for a lot less than they cost. You could stick them in your garage or garages all over the country, and when mm -hmm. they actually get the fix for it, and then put it in the car, you can sell the car and make a lot of money. You don't even have to pay for the uh, recall fix. Right. That's, uh, that's on Toyota's but on, the, but on the other hand. Uh, you may be buying a sinking duck too. So, I don't know about that. Well, I don't know. They haven't been. They haven't been straight. Now, I, I. It looks to me that they've ruined their brand. I don't know. I don't think that they know. They took them off. They took them off the leasing uh, company lots. They've taken them off the car rental lots. People are not going to Toyota anymore. Um, and um, it, it's good for the American cars. I can tell you that. Well, if I'm a GM exec or a Ford uh, exec, I'm I'm uh, looking I'm looking pretty good actually, don't you think? I'm selling cars. People need to buy cars, and now I'm selling cars. Before I was watching the Toyotas leave the lots and droves. Now I'm selling cars, so that's not bad. So not you, bad. Not, not bad for GM. No. So you think it's the Republican Party's been doing this, or what? <laughs> no, I think that Congress is led by uh, Democrats, and I and I I uh, at this point I think we have to place our trust and faith in, in these congressional hearings. Uh, well, Henry Waxman was the, the same issues. congressman that gave it, stuck it to him on the cigarettes when they said that they were uh, non-addicting and, and weren't really didn't hurt you at all. Yes, and, and uh, Henry Waxman, the congressman who went to uh, UCLA Law School, undergrad at UCLA and has been in this district for years and years and years. He's done a heck of a job bringing these people to justice. So you're telling us that he overcame his education and has become a, a superior legislator. Is well, that what that's you're true. Saying? I mean, you know. Well, it, that's good. It, it, and, and more power to him and more power to Congress. Something's got to be and, done. And to us. Because you need to be ably, ably represented, don't you think? Individual consumer gets screwed in these kind of deals.